Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen. Today I kind of want to talk about what ships are going to be added to 3.0 and stuff that we're going to be able to do with the old ones. So new mechanics for ships that we're beginning. Um, so they're adding missions, moon sign exploration, cargo hauling, uh, boarding parties and piracy is going to be much more rife in 3.0. Um, there's going to be more space exploration, lots more points of interest. And because of this and item 2.0, there's going to be an expanded multi-crew experience as well. So Star Citizen Alpha 3.0 is going to have more uses for some of its ships. So missions-wise, most or all ships are going to be able to participate in various missions. Some might be exempt from certain missions because um, they don't have cargo or because they're snubs, for example. Some snubs aren't going to have abilities to travel to particular locations because they don't have quantum drive. Um, so expect missions for cargo and delivery running if you have room for cargo, killing pirates, assuming you have some form of weapons, uh, and vandal um, killing as well, um, fetch quests, discovery exploration, loot and salvage, defense and escort, amongst all the others that you can make up for yourself as well. Pretty much every ship we have um, and that is going to be added is going to be able to participate in dogfighting to some extent. And missions like the Kovalex investigation, um, you're going to be able to travel to and exit your ship and do those missions on foot. And there's going to be lots of stuff to do moonside as well. So you're not going to need a particular ship that can has to carry cargo or anything like that for those type of missions. So lots of gameplay there. Snub fighters and Argo, so the Peace uh, 52 and the Argos might not be that much use in 3.0 as they have no quantum drive and no ships to lock and dock with. Um, so with the Dragonfly and the Urza Rover, they're going to be able to lock into a ship and probably even with the Grey Cat Buggy. Um, not all ships, but just some of them, some that have got room for them. That said, there might be ship spawners on certain locations like in Levski and nearby points of interest that you can interact and spawn stump fighters that might be useful for proximate missions and exploration in the nearby area. Cargo. So this is one of the big gameplay hooks and mechanics that we're getting for 3.0. The Avenger Titan, the Constellation Andromeda, the Freelancer, the Reliant, the Starfarer and the Caterpillar are all going to get the ability to carry cargo and make Alpha UEC via trading or finding boxes and bringing them back to your ship for sale. So um Cargo attachments as well. So we don't know if the Aurora is going to be able to hold any cargo for 3.0 as it requires specific storage boxes as an item to be built for it so it can hold them underneath in one of its modular points. And it is possible that the rework will incorporate these as it's going through a rework at the moment. And the hope is that the Aurora will be able to participate in light shipping for 3.0, though this might have already been considered during its rework and all that sort of jazz as well. So I have to wait and see with that. The same really goes for the Hornet as well. The ability to mount a cargo container in its center is part of the ship. It has a modular piece that literally can put a cargo container there but it's whether or not that item has the functionality in 3.0 whether we will be able to use it. We're obviously getting some new ships and vehicles for 3.0 as well. The Dragonfly is that space motorbike that can fly around like a snub fighter but can also be used on the ground as a ground vehicle. The Dragonfly can be stored in other ships of an appropriate size like the Freelancer, Cutlass, um, Caterpillar, Starfarer and Constellations so that you can land on a moon or a planetoid and then break out the Dragonfly for going around and exploring around space or just get it out in space and go into harder to get areas. Remember it also has room for an additional passenger too and it may be able to help move carryable boxes back to your ship. Um, Constellation Aquila. So the Aquila is the exploration variant of the Constellation series. Uh, to be honest in 3.0 it will pretty much act as the same way as the Andromeda for the most part while having the Urza Rover as standard by default in its cargo bay. The constellations are going to allow for cargo gameplay um, in general, but also a whole lot of what 3.0 has to offer as kind of, it, it gives you a taster of everything that 3.0 has to offer. The exploration, space and ground, um, multi-crew experience, and being appropriate for most missions and situations. The Urza Rover is a more focused ground vehicle for 3.0. Obviously it doesn't fly around in space. Um, it will be very useful for ground exploration and carrying a small group of players around. All constellations should have room to take an Urza Rover as well, as should the Starfarer and possibly the Caterpillar in the front module. But I'll have to wait and see if that can actually fit there. Also, the Grey Cat Buggies should be able to fit in a lot of ships too um, for a bit of 
ground and even station exploration. Now, bear in mind that these buggies and ships, like the Dragonfly and Grey Cat Buggy and the Azarova, need to lock in place in certain areas, and they have to need those areas to be built in for the ship. So, I assume it's going to work for the Star Farrah and as a rover. It's definitely got room in there, but it needs to lock to the ground there because otherwise it will um, be unsafe um, and kind of be buggy while moving. So the assumption there is that you'll be able to lock those vehicles in place of cargo. Cutlass Black. So the Cutlass Black rework is coming too. Again, similar to the Constellation, this ship will allow you to experience a lot of gameplay in 3.0. It's having those sliding doors and it's, it's, a, it's a much more interesting ship now uh, for like boarding for cargo for fighting and um, it's not necessarily a dogfighter but it does have fighting capabilities room for a dragonfly in the back and a sizable crew cargo space and solid weaponry um it's going to be a very good ship for 3.0 that cutlass black the misc prospector so the prospector is a small mining ship but we don't know if there's going to be mining in 3.0 or when mining is coming at all we know that it's being worked on um and they'll trying to get it into wherever they can. Without mining in 3.0, the Prospector would have very limited use. I doubt we're going to be able to switch interior modules around for 3.0 Alpha as well. So ships like the Retaliator are still going to be geared for torpedoes um, and have their, their six torpedoes rather than any form of cargo base or uh, any of the other modules for it. So just take that on mind. It's probably not going to be able to take any form of cargo. The 85X does have a quantum drive, so it is a snub with a quantum drive. Um, some ships are going to benefit from lockers and other storage areas so you, that you can change your equipment and armor and weapons while you're there. Um, and that will allow you to take more with you effectively and go, well, I'm changing from this suit to this suit. And there are going to be lots more armor sets and lots more weapons in 3.0 that we'll be able to make use of. Having a ground vehicle is going to be super useful in 3.0, giving you experience to try a lot more of the game. You should be able to hopefully grab them in game as well without having to purchase them separately. The 300 series is also getting a rework currently, so I doubt we're going to see much added function to those ships in 3.0, as it's likely that that uh, rework will be done in 3.1 or 3.2. And that's really it. Some ships are going to have a lot more gameplay potential in Alpha 3.0. Obviously, you can get involved with multi-crewing, and at some point, hopefully in 3.0 though, we'll have the ability to temporarily purchase ships with Alpha UEC, giving us much more gameplay and reasons to play. Every month we give away a ship for May, it's an Avenger Titan. All you need to do is be subscribed to my YouTube channel and comment on any of my stances and content during that month. Do you have any questions about 3.0, about some of the ships for it, uh, for me, or about Star Citizen's development in general, or suggestions for videos? A special thank you to my Patreons who allow me to create the amount of content I do. And if you're interested in becoming one, then you can find the links to Patreon as well as everything else we've discussed below. Thank you so much, guys. You're absolutely amazing. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the verse.